um, Man United's transfers have basically been sealed and done for the most part. Um, most of our transfers in are pretty decent, I have to confess. I don't think they're as bad as I probably would have thought they would be. There's a part of me that thinks all the protest that surrounds the Glazers and the fact that a lot of our fans have finally had enough of the Glazer ownership and there was big protests ahead of the Liverpool game uh, about us getting rid of the Glazers and there's been talk about the Glazers eventually selling up the club and selling their stake in it and selling it to another owner or selling it to another potential owner and all this other talk around in the club um, it maybe felt like to me that they were trying to appease the fans or kind of stave off the pressure by essentially giving Eric Ten Hag an open checkbook to sign who he wants but then if I look back at some of the in the know people on social media some people earlier on way yet yeah, way in the beginning of the summer actually was saying quite confidently that they had been told that Eric Ten Hag would have a hundred would have a 200 million um pound kind of spending budget to get the players and that he wants and according to what we purchased so far that 200 million is looking about right do you know what I mean so he, I don't think he was ever going to get any more than that and I think he's done it I think he's bought quite wisely um in terms of what he kind of needed in terms of filling in some gaps in quality and whatnot and competition in the club over, overall maybe the one thing we probably didn't get or two things you probably didn't get was maybe an extra midfielder maybe a right back and maybe another striker and the striker would have been I think we should have bought a striker regardless if, if Ronaldo was staying or not I think we always need to have a striker in our team an extra one in there especially considering how injury prone Martial is but that, that hasn't happened but so far I can't really complain um, so far we have the likes of um, Lissandro Martinez who's obviously hit the ground running so far uh, Malasia from finals hit the ground running too uh, Christian Eriksen has been a little bit hot and cold but he's done pretty well too Casemiro we've only seen a, a brief cameo and the uh, latest signing is Anthony from Ajax um, for me there's a lot of question marks around him in terms of his fee I do think the fee is a little bit crazy but I have been a fan of his ever since he signed for Ajax a couple of years ago he was somebody that I always enjoyed watching especially when I ended up having to watch Ajax play whether it was in the league or Champions League or whatever I'd always kind of enjoy watching him play because he just you know he's kind of got that Jogo Bonito thing he always kind of comes on the pitch wanting to entertain do some tricks with some skills and just kind of put on a bit of a show he kind of reminds me a little bit of Alan St. Maxim in that, in that regard right he's really kind of going out on the pitch trying to enjoy himself and obviously trying to help his team in the, in the most part but it's interesting because I think like United rarely go for those type of players we don't usually have players in our team who are you know so dynamic and skillful the way Anthony is but the one thing I like about him also is that he is a player who I think has got the grit and determination needed to succeed at the club and also I think he might change the profile of our team and our squad because I feel like for the longest time our team was maybe a little bit too British a little bit too English a little bit too private schoolish, a little bit too middle class if that makes any sense it's a bit weird to say those kind of things but I think we were a bit too cute a bit too um, pr prim and proper and we weren't really a team that could get dirty that could have the that or that has a dog in them as I have to say on social media right we didn't have any players that really had a dog in them but I feel like with the signings of Anthony Casemiro Malasia and Lassandro Martinez specifically those are all players that I would say have got the dog in them they've got the fight in them they're ready to kind of roll up their sleeves and really go for it on the pitch and really kind of lay themselves bare in terms of helping their teammates and obviously helping the club go forward and I think Anthony is another prime example of that he's definitely somebody who I feel like has got a clear idea of what he wants to do in his career I feel like the fact that he pushed so hard for this move from Ajax and the fact that he went on strike kind of and he was very adamant that he wanted to go um, play for United he didn't want to train he had an interview with Fabrizio Romano I feel like he has a real clear plan of his career I think him and his team know where he wants to be eventually and a player like him especially a Brazilian player we all know, you know, probably his long-term goal is to probably go to Barcelona or something. But I think he views us the same way that maybe Ronaldo viewed us when he moved to Man United from Sporting Lisbon, that that would be a great place to kind of raise your profile, play for a big club, win some trophies, and then eventually in a couple of, you know, eventually maybe in the four years, five years, once you've got some trophies under your belt and you've helped the club, you know, establish themselves again, you can then move on and go to clubs like Barcelona, Real Madrid and stuff. So that wouldn't surprise me in his future, which kind of makes sense. So I think given that, He's going to come in with a bit between his feet. He's sort of a bit between his, um, 
the bit between his teeth and he's going to want to prove a point he's not going to want to come in and just kind of rest on his laurels and I feel like the club overall needs those kind of players in our team we desperately 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 need them and I can't wait to see him um, perform on the pitch there's a little compilation here I've got on screen here showing some of his best moments and what he can kind of do and stuff and I'm really eager to see him perform some of these tricks at Old Trafford he's going to definitely endear himself to the Old Trafford faithful especially I can imagine away from home doing these kind of tricks and flicks and controls and whatnot and crazy stuff he does on the pitch having you know Sancho and Anthony on either side of the wing is going to be fucking incredible the speed the aggression I feel like is going to be great to see I'm also eager to see how he ends up developing his overall positional awareness does he end up developing into being more of a central player does he end up being somebody that only sticks on the wing overall for the long term it's going to be great to see him evolve at the club and kind of turn into a proper world class player that I think he has the potential to be but in general I like that we've changed the profile of play that we're going for it's a bit bait because you know Ayrton Hogg was, was previously managing um, IX and obviously managed um, Lissandra Martinez and, and Anthony but I feel like we've at least now changed the profile of players in terms of technical ability all of those players I mentioned even the likes of Casemiro and Christian Eriksen are all very technically proficient they're all players who can hold the ball who can you know pass the ball who've got good positional awareness who just know how to play the game have got high footballing IQ which goes a really long way in our team because the team so far has been relying on pure athleticism passion and just whatever else and effort now we've got actual football players who can actually play the game properly so hopefully this will go on to um helping us have a, a somewhat decent season next season or this season sorry i'm not you know i'm not thinking we're going to win the league or anything but i just want to have a decent league finish maybe finish in the top six maybe aim for a top four a good cup run and i'm more than happy with that and then we can build going on to the next season because i think the season's going to be very tough given how the other teams have been performing at the start